It is a time of chaos in the Zooverse. Two opposing forces have emerged, the Nice Side and the Mice Side, each seeking to wield the most powerful force in the Zooverse, the power of the Soth. Bango Bananas, the last of the Nice Side warriors has long gone missing, and no other space hero has stepped up to fill his place. In his absence, Boo Boo Squeal, the ruler of the Mice Side, has grown strong. Princess Sparklefeather, the leader of the Nice Side, is on the run. The ultimate battle between the Nice Side and the Mice Side is about to unfold. Finding the legendary Chosen One is the Nice Side's only hope. We searched this entire galaxy for the Chosen One. We found nothing. Ah, Feta! I can already feel the Chosen One within my grasp. <laughs> but alas, we must continue to scour the Zooverse until we find him. Why are you looking for the Chosen One, Boo Boo? How many times do I have to tell you, you silly pachyderm? The Chosen One is the only one who stands between me, Boo Boo Squeal, the most Powerful animal in the Zooverse, and universal domination! But Boo Boo, the Chosen One is a myth! His kind have been completely obliterated ions ago! He's not a myth, he's out there somewhere! We must find him and destroy him! Is that understood? No, oh, <laughs> you're so cute when you're evil! What did you say? Uh, I said, you're so evil, Boo Boo Squeal! So absolutely evil, and not cute at all. That's what I thought. Now get me some guacamole! I must replenish my sauce power! Frog mercenary Chewy Chew Flies has captured Princess Sparklefeather, sir. Hooray! Instruct Chew Flies to bring her to me! Princess Sparklefeather is at my mercy! The nice side is reduced to rubble! <laughs> Once I get the Chosen One out of the way, I will ride from universe to universe. <laughs> galaxy to galaxy, dimension to dimension, completely unstoppable. The universe will be my Gruyere. <laughs>
Meanwhile, in a remote galaxy by the Zortix Nebula on planet Zutrini, a very special elephant awaited his destiny. A destiny that would change the Zooverse forever. Hey, Tiptoes! I want that code written by the end of the day. You hear me? You got it, boss. How did we end up here, Marty? Ah, I couldn't tell you, Nook. This life is all I know. How long have you been here? Yeah, try a trillion plutonium ions, Nook. Oh, that's a while. A heck of a while. This is unjust, Marty. Unjust, unusual, and downright unbearable. I'm Nuke Tiptoes, an elephant for Tusk's sake. A proud beast, majestic, highly intelligent, deeply emotional. I belong in the open spaces of the galaxy. I long for a life of adventure, Marty. A life of excitement. That's not the way it is anymore. What happened to us, Marty? What happened to all the animals? We got too serious. Are you an elephant or a snail, Tiptoes? Pick up the pace. We got deadlines to meet. Okay, okay, take it easy for peanuts' sake. These computer keys are too small for my toes. One of these days, Marty. One of these days. I'll be waiting. Say, how about a carrot juice by the watering hole after work, Marty? Eh, yeah, carrot juice gives me the hives. Hello, Nuke. Do you hear me? Who's that? It's me. Me who? How do you know my name? There's no time. You must do as I say. Not until you tell me who you are and how you got into my head. I can get you off this planet, Nuke. This is not where you belong. But if you'd rather stay here and keep slaving for the system for a couple peanuts a day... Hey, Nuke, all good over there? Just taking a peanut break, Marty. Eh, peanuts give me the hives. Forget the peanuts, Nuke. Hit enter and your destiny will be changed forever. Like I said earlier, there's no time. Now there's even less time than the last time I said it. My destiny? Yeah, you have a destiny, my elephant friend. I do? You don't really believe you were meant to work in a cubicle and eat peanuts for the rest of your life, do you? I like peanuts. Fine, Nuke, dude. You can still eat peanuts. Will you just hit enter already? Okay, I'll do it. Wait! What? Be sure the truth is what you seek. Once you hit enter, there's no going back. The truth about what? The truth about who you really are, Nuke. All right, I'm ready. Wait! What now? Be sure that you're sure, Nuke. I was sure, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Why aren't you sure, Nuke? Don't you long for the truth, my elephant friend? I do. I long for truth, but I'm just an elephant in a room full of fancy gadgets. I don't know the first thing about the truth. You know nothing about the truth, Nuke, unless... Unless? You hit enter. All right, all right. Here it goes. Right? Hello? Well, never mind. Nuke! You again. <laughs> Sorry, overactive bladder syndrome. Had to take a quick bathroom break. <laughs> you understand, Nuke, my friend. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, you were about to hit enter. That's still current? Ready when you are, Nuke. All right, then. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Where in the space tusks am I? the Galactic Peanuts are you? I'm B-52 of the Nice Side Robotic Fleet. Where am I? Welcome to the Sparkle Express. The Sparkle Express? Princess Sparkle Feather's personal fleet vessel. And who's Princess Sparkle Feather? Do you live under a rock? Carbon-based life form? She's only the leader of the nice side. Uh, sorry, I, I don't keep up with social media much. Wait, are, are we moving? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> this baby is made to fly. Where are we going? On a mission 
pink space elephants. A mission? No positive, Carbon Base. A mission that will alter the course of galactic history. You see, Carbon Base, Princess Sparklefeather has been kidnapped by the my side after we crash landed on planet Bubbles. I have been programmed to help her escape. Whoa. In order to fulfill the mission, we seek an ally. An ally? A rebel squirrel named Squeezy Whistle. I have delivered the princess to you, Boo Boo. Excellent! I expect the two flies and three gnats I've been promised. I've never promised three gnats to you, two flies. I said two gnats. You said three. No way. I would never have agreed to three gnats. You have two. Chubby, check the books. Did I ever agree to three gnats? Says right here, two flies gets three gnats. Mm, the books are wrong. Two gnats. Ah! Ah! We gotta change course! This meteor storm doesn't seem to want to end! Negative, homeostatic cellular organism. Directive is to maintain course. Contact with the cashew is imminent. The cashew? Squeezy whistle space vessel. We should make contact in just under 50 million light years. You're saying I escaped a lifetime of pencil pushing to spend the next 50 million light years in a meteor storm? Oh, I don't think my poor stomach can take it. There must be another way. There is another way. <laughs> For the love of peanuts, what is it? The Nebula 5 wormhole. Okay, we're dead. Nuke, I want you to... Voice? Yes, Nuke, my elephant friend. My name is Bongo Bananas. <laughs> now, I want you to... Bongo Bananas? Yes, Nuke, such is my name. Now, I want you to... Look, Bongo, whatever your name is, I'm traveling at break tusk speed through a meteor storm with a robot named after a 90s new wave band who's suggesting we enter the Nebula 5 wormhole. For all the floppy ears in the galaxy, what could you possibly want from me now? Glad you asked, Nuke. I want you to take command of the ship and steer it through the Nebula 5 wormhole. What? It's your only hope. A meteor will collide with your ship in nine, uh, eight, uh, seven. Give me that. Now six, what? Which way, voice? Five, which way? Four. Uh, three, uh, two. Uh, Repeat after me. Uh, Bechamel. Bechamel. Are we... are we dead? I'll check coordinates. Stand by. Negative. We're in... the sauce dimension. The sauce dimension? The sauce flows through the entire universe, carbon-based. We have just entered the sauce dimension, where all is sauce. Is it dangerous? If not wielded wisely, the sauce can destroy. The sauce is power. Amazing! <laughs> if anybody gained control of this stuff, they'd be unstoppable! Uh, where have you been, Carbon Based? Don't you know Boo Boo Squeal has garnered enough sauce power to destroy the Zooverse? The sauce can destroy the Zooverse? Oh, yes. The sauce can be used for good. But with a bit too much garlic, it can be evil. Boo Boo Squeal has already obliterated the nice side starship and captured my mistress, Princess Sparklefeather. He will try to extract from her the whereabouts of the Chosen One. The Chosen One? Hello. Anyone in there? The nice side's only hope. Don't you follow social media? Twitter? Snapchat? You lost me at sauce. We're back! The cashew! We have located...
hated it. Oh, wow. Small universe. Get to the cashew nuke and seek Squeezy Whistle. He will help you fulfill your destiny. We must get to the cashew. Negative carbon base. Squeezy Whistle will pulverize anything that approaches his ship. You must get to the cashew nuke. Repeat after me. Bechamel! Not Bechamel again. I can't take any more so Wow. <laughs> Are we aboard the cashew? Confirmed. Who's Squeezy Whistle anyway? Squeezy Whistle, Rebel Squirrel, escaped the my side and went rogue. He has no loyalties, but can be hired for a price. Who the chestnuts are you? Squeezy? Yeah, you got it. Now, who are you? And what are you doing on my ship? You got three seconds to answer before I pulverize you. And the countdown starts now. Three, two... We need to rescue Princess Sparklefeather, who has been kidnapped by Boo Boo Squeal, who wants to find the Chosen One and destroy him so we can wield the power of the sauce unopposed and take over the entire universe. <sighs> Did I forget anything? To breathe, carbon-based. Princess Sparklefeather's been kidnapped? Yes. Will you help? No. <laughs> Princess Sparklefeather sent me specifically to find you. She said you would help. Oh, yeah. Well, Princess Sparklefeather was wrong. Now see yourself off my ship. What's our trajectory, Chubby? We're on our way to Planet Sprinkles, Boo Boo Squeal. Just as you command, we will destroy their way of life by dumping moldy Grivier into their stratosphere. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know how I come up with this stuff. <laughs> you're so cute when you're evil, Boo Boo. What did you say? No, uh, I said you're just so evil, Boo Boo. Just absolutely evil. I thought you called me cute. Me? Never. I, uh, I meant cruel. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. You're not cute at all. Far from it. You're actually quite unsightly, Boo-Boo. Grotesque, even. Never seen a more hideous-looking rodent all my life. <laughs> Unlovely as they come. You called me cute. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did. I didn't. You did. Nope. Chubby? Okay, I did, but but you're just so cute. <laughs> a beady-eyed, fluffy, adorable little mouse. It's just too much. For Gruyere's sake, Chubby, stop calling me cute. I'm Boo Boo Squeal, the most evil mouse in the zooverse. <laughs> I'm not cute. But you are. I'm not. You are. Chubby? Yes? Don't. Make me deploy the sauce. Oh no, N not the sauce. What will it be this time, Tabasco? No, not the Tabasco. Sriracha? No, please, Boo Boo. N no, not the Sriracha. Okay then, am I cute? No, y you're decisively not cute. The princess has arrived! Excellent, Captain Rip! Bring her to me! We will not leave until you agree to help Princess Sparklefeather. Yeah, well then you'll leave me no choice but to pulverize you. We're leaving! Oh no, we are not! Surrender your ship now, Squeezy, or I'll have no mercy on your rodent pelt. Ah, just what we need. Who's that? Oh, that's Coot Coot Carburetor, the bounty hunter. Why is he after you? Oh, he ain't after me. He's after the cashew. I lost it to him in a game of old nuts. Yeah, but I'll be a used chew stick if I give my ship up to that ugly hog. Ready to hand over my ship, Squeezy? Then I'll destroy it, and you along with it! Yeah, hold 
on the high, Peanuts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Whoa! Oh, we have no time for skirmishes, Squeezy. We must rescue Princess Sparkle Feather. <laughs> My princess robot. We gotta get out of here! That's exactly what I intend to do. Engage hyperdrive. Hyperdrive engaged. <laughs> so long, sucker. In the fur, your highness. <laughs> and so we meet at last, you evil little rodent. A great and long overdue displeasure, don't you find? Why do you hate the nice side so much? If you must know, because the nice side warriors never accepted me. You wanted to be a part of the nice side warriors? Of course I did. Doesn't every animal in the zooverse? Doesn't every colt, lamb, and cub dream of becoming a nice side warrior? I... I suppose they do. They thought I was nothing but a puny little mouse. So I found somebody else who was willing to train me in the way of the sauce. And now I will use my sauce powers to take over the entire zooverse! The sauce? Surely you don't mean the marinara. No, I mean all the sauce. All of it! Marinara, Tabasco, Ragu! No, it cannot be! But it is, Princess. With the power of the sauce, you could... Wipe out the entire zooverse and the nice side along with it? What do you want from me? I seek the Chosen One. The Chosen One? For as long as he stands, I cannot conquer the entire Zooverse unopposed. You must tell me where to find him. I would never tell you, Boo Boo Squeal. Fine then. <laughs> I shall use my power of the sauce to read your mind. No! Look at me, Princess Sparkle Feather. Look into my infinitely evil eyes. No. Remelade. No, no! Where is the chosen one? Never! Hoisin sauce! No, not hoisin! Teriyaki! Oh, no! Your power is strong! Alfredo! The chosen one, princess. No, never! Where is he? Your sauce power shall not prevail! Marinara! Not the marinara! Vodka sauce! Oh, no! Guacamole! Whoa, that was something, wasn't it? Yeah, just a day in the life of me. Squeezy Whistle, yours must be an incredible life. Ah, risk, adventure, peril. They're just the bread and Brazil nuts of a rogue space squirrel. Nothing much to it. Oh, galactic tusks. This is the life I've always dreamed about. Hey, this ain't a life fit for every space animal out there. You can't just wish a life of adventure, Peanuts. You gotta be cut out for it. Yeah, you gotta be made of the right mix nuts. Do you think I could... No. No. Oh. Ah, a lifetime of pencil pushings made you soft in the gut, Peanuts. I suggest you return to your life and forget all about this mission and about Princess Sparkle Feather. Why do you dislike Princess Sparkle Feather so much, Squeezy? What has she ever done to you? Yeah, we loved each other once. What? What? You and the princess? Hey, it was never gonna work, all right? 
Me, a lowly park squirrel from the Lower East Quadrant. She, a princess? <laughs> Imagine the scene at a family event, will ya? Bunch of elephants cowering on banquet tables, shrieking in horror at the sight of my rodent family. Yeah, it was just never gonna work. <gasps> you are the reason the princess never found a suitable husband. Uh, she never married? No, she met hundreds of suitors and discarded them one by one. Nobody seemed to be good enough to be her prince. Ah, princess. Is she the reason you left the my side and went rogue? Yeah, that's right. I couldn't pledge allegiance to a leader who wanted to harm Princess Sparklefeather. Oh, this must be why the princess recorded a message for you. She knew you would help. Ah! The princess recorded a message for me? Why, for all the pine nuts of the galaxy, didn't you tell me before? Oh, helium, no. I know you didn't just squeak at me, squirrel form. Well, come on, let's hear this message. Not if you're going to be squeaking at me. I'm not squeaking at you. Oh, yes, you are. I'm not going to play the message until you apologize. Never! Now, see here. I am a very temperamental robotic intelligence created with the highest levels of emotional response. So apologize to me before I press delete on this message. Squeezy Whistle, you must apologize to you too, or we might never know what the princess had to tell us. My name for the last time is B-52. B stands for best, because that is what I am. And 52 is the number of times my motherboard has experienced a complete emotional meltdown. I suggest you apologize to me at once before I'm forced to change my name to B-53. I'm waiting. All right, fine. I'll apologize. But Princess Sparklefeather's gonna hear about this. Any minute now. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry about... I'm sorry I squeaked at you, Sum 41. I'll never do it again. What did you call me? If you get this message, I've been captured by the mice site under express order from Boo Boo Squeal. You're the only one I can trust. Wow. She's beautiful. Hey, you keep your tongue between your tusk, Nuke. She's a princess, not your kind. What do you know about my kind? Oh, yeah. Well, I know you're nothing but a long nose, goofy tooth, peanut chomping. Shh. The princess is talking. I must tell you about the Chosen One, Squeezy. Whoa, the Chosen One? Shh! He is said to be a very special kind of animal. He was raised by the leader of the Nice Side Warriors. He was trained to wield the full power of the sauce. No other space animal can defeat him. Not even Boo Boo Squeal. Eh, the Chosen One is just a myth. You mean a legend. Myth, legend, whatever. Not the same thing. In fact, a myth is an unverifiable story handed down by tradition from earlier times and popularly accepted as historical. A legend, on the other hand, is an imaginary or fictitious thing or person. Oh, for chestnut's sake! Shh, 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 shh. Now that Boo Boo Squeal has destroyed the nice side and captured me, he will turn his teeny tiny beady eyes towards Zuber's domination. But he can never be sure the Chosen One will not try to stop him. My tusks! <laughs> The Chosen One is the coolest space animal I've ever heard of. A myth. Legend. Shh. Boo Boo Squeal will stop at nothing to find out where the Chosen One is. Whoa. He will try to use the power of the sauce to bend me to his will. As a nice side princess, I was trained to withstand the power of the sauce, but I don't know how long I can last against Boo Boo Squeal. He's very powerful. My galactic flapping ears. Squeezy Whistle, I need your help. Okay, let's hear it, princess. I need you to find the leader of the Nice Side Warriors. He will introduce you to the Chosen One, the only one who can save us all. Whoa. 
Please, Squeezy Whistle, seek Bongo Bananas. He will lead you to the Chosen One. Wait, what? Did, did she say Bongo Bananas? The last of the Nice Side Warriors. I know him! My trusted robot, UB40, has the coordinates to find him. <gasps> what did she call me? I know him! I know Bongo Bananas! You know Bongo Bananas? Oh, that's a laugh and a half, Peanuts. It's true! He talks to me! Bongo Bananas talks to you. Yeah, right. He does! Tell him. Tell him that Bongo Bananas talks to me. Negative, Carbon. I am not privy to that data. How do you think I got into your ship? Uh, Solo Winds? What? No, it was Bongo Bananas. He told me to hit enter, and then... Hey, you got me mixed up in a pistachio of a mess elephant. Me? Yeah, you. But, but, but I didn't do anything. I was sitting at my desk when I got teleported into the Sparkle Express by Bongo Bananas. Enough. But, 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 uh, oh, sucks. I'm afraid this is where we part ways, Peanuts. You go back home where you belong, while I... What are you going to do? Yeah, what I always do, Peanuts. Run. You can't just run, Squeezy. Yeah, well, watch me. I'm docking at the next station, and you can hitch a ride back to your cubicle desk job on Zutrini. But we have to do something. The princess said... Yeah, I heard what the princess said, but this ain't my fight. Your walnuts are still raw from losing her, Squeezy. Hey, my walnuts are just fine, Dr. Phil. It's just that... What? Eh, I'm tired of all the fighting. You have to take a stand, Squeezy. You have to decide if you are with the nice side or the mice side. I have no sides. This is one fight you must take on, Squeezy. You just want to go on a space adventure, don't you, Peanuts? Yeah, yeah, I do. Sorry, no can do. I want to meet Bongo Bananas. Why ever for? Because, because he spoke to me. He told me that if I hit enter, I would learn the truth. And I still don't know what the truth is. Yeah, I'm afraid you might never know this truth you speak of, Peanuts. Why not? Because Bongo Bananas is no longer with us. And I hardly doubt he's been communicating from his final galactic resting place with a peanut chopper from Planet Zutrini. No offense. It can't be. Bongo Banana spoke to me. You must believe me. Hey, I saw Bongo Bananas get sucked into a black hole. Nothing survives that. Nothing. You know what I think? I think that a lifetime of running has made you soft in the pistachios, Squeezy. My pistachios are rock hard. I've chipped in sizes on those pistachios. Prove it. Hey, I'll tell you what. I know someone who can help us sort all this out. His name is Jabber the Jaw. Jabber the Jaw? Yeah. He's big in the underground world of kangaroo boxing. Got his hooves on a little bit of everything. If something's worth knowing, Jabba knows about it. He'll know if Bongo Bananas is still alive. Let's go see him then. Yeah, fine, but just beware. Yeah, Jabba the Jaw's a little odd. How's that? Yeah, he speaks of himself in the third animal, and he really loves his space calypso tunes. But just ignore all that. Now you keep your flapping truck still, and you let me do the talking. Oh, carbon base, that was an emotional roller coaster. <sighs> I'm glad we went through it together. Let's hold hands. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. You must have run out of sauce by now, Boo Boo Squeal. You just must have. Never! In fact, <laughs> what about some Cincinnati chili, princess? No, it cannot be. I got as much sauce power as you got time, princess. I have underestimated you, Boo Boo Squeal. You are indeed terribly powerful. More powerful than the Chosen One. Oh, the Chosen One is much more powerful than you, Boo Boo Squeal. Squeezy Whistle will find him, and then... Squeezy Whistle is looking for the Chosen One. That's good to know, princess. 
He will lead me right to the Chosen One! No! And once he does... <laughs> I will destroy both of them. <laughs> the jaws lair. Now, Peanut, you keep your eyes between your floppy ears and keep your trunk on silent mode. I'll deal with him. Capiche? Capiche? Aha! Hello there, Squeezy Whistle. Oh, yeah? Well, who the space sunflower seeds are you? I am Tartar the Third, mighty galactic warrior and part-time orthodontic student. I have come to destroy you and your ship. Hey, why such animosity, Ugly Face? Can we talk it out? Me? Ugly Face? Uh, you, Ugly Face. <laughs> Brains the size of a walnut, these guys. No sense of humor and absolutely no swank. That might be, but he seems pretty gung-ho about destroying the cashew, Squeezy Whistle. What are we going to do? Watch and learn, Peanuts. Hey, ugly face. Look, over there. Uh, what? Where? Engage thermal blasters. Thermal blasters engaged. Thermal what now? Oh, that's gonna... Planet. Now remember, Nuke, you let me do the talking. my friend. Jabba has no friends. You must keep your visit brief, as Jabba has business to attend to. You got five cosmic seconds. Yeah, five cosmic seconds, ten cosmic seconds. <laughs> I don't count time anymore, Jabba. I count emotions. I can respect that, Squeeze. Word! Can we get to the point? Now what do you seek from Jabba? Help us find Bongo Bananas! Did you say... Bongo Bananas? Hey, I told you to let me do the talking, Peanuts. What do you want from Bongo Bananas? I need to see him. <laughs> I guess you two didn't get the memo. Bongo Bananas is... Dead? Dead? <laughs> oh, no. He's very much alive. What are you jabbering about, Jaw? You heard me, Squirrel. Bongo Bananas is alive. We must find him! Ooh, you won't find him so easily. Why? He's left this dimension a long time ago. He's been in hiding. He's the greatest warrior of the nice side. Why would such a powerful warrior need to hide? His old age must have caught up with him. So he just abandoned the nice side? From what I heard, he trained two very special animals to take his place when the time came. But alas, they both deserted him. But what about the princess, the nice side, the zooverse? Is it all lost? All that Jabba the Jaw can tell you is that Bongo Bananas plans to remain in hiding in a parallel dimension until the return of... The Chosen One. The Chosen One. Exactly. The Chosen One is the nice side's only hope. Bongo Bananas is waiting to reunite with him at last. We need to find Bongo Bananas at once! The princess! The chosen one! My destiny! You'd have to access an alternate dimension, Pachyderm. Not an easy feat if you don't know how. There's gotta be a way. Why don't we ask him? Ask who? Bongo Bananas, of course! I told you! He talks to me! Nonsense! A peanut face here might be on to something. 
Hey, come on now, Jabba. This elephant speaks crazy. Ooh, I like it. Let's give Peanuts a shot. Ah, fine. Go ahead, Peanuts. Talk to Bongo Bananas. Bongo? Uh, hello? It's me, Nuke. Uh, I think your interdimensional communication device has failed you, Peanuts. <laughs> Give him another chance, Squeezy Whistle. The pachyderm has chutzpah. Fine. Uh, 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 Bongo? It's me, Nuke. Remember me? You told me I needed to find my destiny. You said I should know the truth. And, and now here I am. I'm ready. Ready to know it all. Okay, that does it. This fantasy trip is over, Peanuts. I'm taking you back to... Hello, Nuke. Whoa, Bongo! Is it really you? It is I. Bongo Bananas. The princess, she's in grave danger and we need your help. <laughs> I know all about it. That's why I sent for you, Nuke. And you, Squeezy Whistle. You're my only hope to finally defeat Boo Boo Squeal. Us? Me and Squeezy Whistle? Squeezy Whistle and me? Yes, both of you must come to me. Whoa, Galactic Tusks, we're on our way. Wait, where are you and uh, how, how do we get there? You know the way, Nuke. Me? You must remember, Nuke. Remember. Remember what? I can't remember a thing I did a minute ago. Yeah, you're an elephant. Ain't you supposed to have an amazing memory? Sorry, I have a terrible memory. <laughs> what can I say? Remember, Nuke. Remember. Hey, whatever it is, you must remember. Just remember it, will you, Nuke? I can't remember what I'm supposed to remember. For all the stars in the galaxy, Pachyderm, will you just remember already? You have outstayed Jabber the Jaws welcome by seven cosmic ions. I... I can't remember a thing. Remember, Nuke. Bongo? Ah, oh, shucks. Oh, come on, what is it? What are you supposed to remember? I don't know. Is it a code? I don't think so. A phone number? Uh, no. An address? Uh, I, I don't believe it is. A lock combination? Uh, no. More like a condiment. Ragu? No. Alfredo? Uh, nope. Peanut sauce? That sounds divine. <laughs> but no, it's not peanut sauce. Tartar -tar reporting on the Destroy the Cashew and Return Triumphant mission. Ah, Tartar! -tar. <laughs> I trust you bring me great news. Tell me, my trusty Tartar, -tar, have you destroyed the cashew and that silly squirrel along with it? Uh, Boo Boo? I'm afraid I'm the bringer of nefarious news. Are you saying? I'm saying. You? The proud space warrior Tartar the Third, son of Tartar the Second, and grandson of the first Tartar, not able to defeat a puny bark squirrel from the lower east quadrant? Alas, it is so, Boo Boo Squeal. That makes me very, very angry, Tartar. Uh oh. So angry, in fact, I might be forced to use the power of the sauce upon you. No, not the sauce! Indeed, the sauce! May my power of the sauce blast you a million ions into the farthest space dimension! Marinara! Looks like I'm surrounded by imbeciles. Chubby! Yes, Boo-Boo? Prepare the Boo-Boo ship! It's time to send out the best warrior in the zooverse to defeat Squeezy Whistle. And the chosen one! Oh, goody! <laughs> and who's that? Me, you silly pachyderm! Oh, right! Bolognese? No. Marinara? No. Margarita? No. Oh, Ragu! Sa sauce Ragu! I is it Sauce Ragu? 
No. Ratatouille. No. Wait, I got it! Really? Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, for chestnut's sake. Oh, wait! What? what? I got it! Really this time? Yeah! Hold tight to your fluffy tail, Squeezy Whistle! The word I'm supposed to remember is... Why should I hold on to my fluffy... Bechamel! <laughs> Amazing space tusks! Is this... Bongo Bananas! It is I. Whoa. At last you have come, my elephant friend. I've had help. This here is Squeezy Whistle, and he... I know who he is. We know each other very well. Don't we, Squeezy? Yeah, you and I go way back, Bongo Bananas. Way back. To the days of the nice side warriors. To the day we battled. You two battled each other? I thought I had defeated you, Bongo Bananas. I saw you being sucked into a black hole. But here you are. It takes more than a little park squirrel from the Lower East Quadrant to defeat Bongo Bananas. Alas. I hear you defected to the my side. I couldn't find it in my heart to fight anymore. I sought freedom. Oh, Bongo Bananas, aren't you sore at Squeezy Whistle for sending you into a black hole? No contraire, my elephant friend. It was the perfect opportunity to fake my own demise. Boo Boo Squeal had grown too strong, even for me. I've been waiting in the shadows for the perfect moment to strike back. To bring the galaxy back to a time when the mice side and the nice side got along. A time of peace. Wait, the mice side and the nice side got along? Yeah, that's a long time ago. A time before you were even born, Squeezy. That's impossible. The nice side and the mice side are sworn enemies. There was a time when all the animals in the zooverse lived in harmony. What happened? I accepted a traitor in our midst. Whoa, a traitor? I took him in as if my own. He had such talent, such abilities, such promise. But most of all, he understood the power of the sauce. Incredible. I trained him in the ways of the sauce. He quickly gained total mastery. He was my best student. Who are you talking about, Bongo? Yeah, you still don't get it, Nuke. He's talking about Boo Boo Squeal. No, Squeezy, I'm not. I'm talking about you, Nuke. Yeah, well, I'll be a rotten tree trunk. Nuke. Me? It was you, Nuke. You were born of royal blood. Whoa. Brother to Princess Sparklefeather. Whoa. You were first in line for the nice side throne. Your father, the king, entrusted your care to me before you even grew tusks. I knew you had incredible promise. You were so bright, Nuke. So eager, I immediately knew you were the one. And so I began to instruct you in the ways of the sauce. Whoa. Just, just, whoa. Wait, this isn't possible. None of that ever happened. It did happen, my friend. Wouldn't I remember it if it had happened? No, you would not. I made sure you wouldn't before I released you from my charge. I used a dememorizer to take away all your memories, all your knowledge, and all your powers. I turned you into a blank slate, Nuke. Just a boring old elephant, dude. <laughs> no way. Way. Tell me, Nuke, 
What do you remember of your young years? Think, Nuke. Think. I... Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I remember nothing. But, but, but why? Why did you take away my memory, Bongo Bananas? Why? Because, Nuke, you became too strong. You became too powerful. And your strength made you too presumptuous. You started to believe that the power of the sauce was for you to wield as you pleased. And you started to disobey me. No. Yes. You decided to harness the sauce for yourself. I, I did? Alas, Nuke, you did. You assembled an invincible army and decided to use your powers to rule the whole Zooverse. No way! You became unstoppable! Ah, oh, for all the assorted salty nuts in the universe! Thankfully, I had been training another in the ways of the sauce. Wait, another? Yes, another warrior. His name was... Bobo Squeal! Whoa! I think my brain is having a meltdown. He was just as talented as you, Nuke. Just as powerful. But he was never accepted by the nice side warriors. They considered him no more than a puny little mouse. So I trained him in secret and taught him everything you knew. When you betrayed me, I unleashed him against you, Nuke, my friend. Pitted Boo Boo Squeal against Nuke? Two of my most beloved pupils fighting against each other. One to protect the power of the sauce and one to abuse it. No way, Jose. But then Boo Boo Squeal also became hungry for power. Alas, the sauce makes one hungry for more sauce. Indeed. Such is the nature of the sauce, my friend. Wait, what, what happened to Boo Boo Squeal? What happened to me? <laughs> Your father, the king, disowned you, obviously. And Boo Boo defeated you, of course. He was unstoppable. He still is. Unstoppable and so cute. He beat you, Nuke. But discord among the animals was created. And there was no going back. Boo Boo Squeal assembled his army. And defeated the nice side. And now, if we don't stop him, he will rule the entire zooverse. <laughs> um, okay. Wait, what is it, Nuke, my friend? You're saying the cause of the war between the nice side and the my side, uh, a war that might result in the obliteration of the entire Zooverse, is me? Yeah, pretty much. This is the truth you wanted to tell me? The truth you made me come all the way out here to a whole different dimension to hear? Alas, Nuke, my friend, it is. But, but Bongo Bananas, this is the worst truth I've ever heard. Such are the ways of sauce, Nuke. I thought you were going to tell me that I was the chosen one. Oh, yeah. No. But then, then, why am I here? And who is the chosen one? I believe I can answer both of your questions, my friends. For the answer is one and the same. Why? Who? The chosen one is within you, Nuke. Whoa, really? Yeah, he's actually literally within you. Been there the whole time. Right on the underside of your earlobe. What? Where? Here I am! Ew! Whoa, who are you? I'm Filippo the Flea! Filippo the Flea! The chosen one! The only one who can defeat Boo Boo Squeal! You have come! I have! Filippo the Flea... Is the chosen one? Indeed, my friends. While I spent years teaching Nuke the ways of the sauce, 
Filippo here sat patiently right inside Nuke's inner ear, listening, mastering the ways of the sauce. Unfortunately, he didn't notice the thick layer of earwax that eventually trapped him inside Nuke's head. <laughs> he could have stopped all this much sooner if only Nuke had been more hygienic. Hey! Filippo has seen it all, and now that you have let him free, Nuke, He's ready to take on Boo Boo Squeal! Ready, Macaroni? <laughs> Filippo, <laughs> always a hoot. This is the worst day of my life. Eh, and the day's not over, Peanuts. You best hold on to your hide. Ouch! Ew! <laughs> and stop scratching. What? Do you think Filippo can really defeat Boo Boo Squeal? Hey, I'm right here. I can hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Filippo. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Nuke. I'm just a flea, right? Greetings. It's Boo Boo Squeal. In the pelt, Squeezy. <laughs> Hope you're ready to kiss your puny pelt goodbye. Boo Boo Squeal has come to destroy you! The defense shields! They're jammed! All your weapons are powerless against the sauce! <laughs> the subatomic blasters! They're stalled! <laughs> We're gonna die! Positive carbon based. We need to unleash the chosen one. That's our only hope. Filippo! Where is he? I don't know. But all of a sudden, I feel fresh and clean and itch free. Maybe this day isn't so bad after all. <laughs> That's just a taste of my powers. Now I will show you what I'm truly capable of. Prepare yourselves for full sauce power! <laughs> Ouch! Hey! Ouch! Why am I so itchy? Filippo! Who's Filippo? Hey! Ouch! He's the chosen one, Boo Boo. The one you seek. The Chosen One, at last! <laughs> Show your face, Chosen One, so I can finally destroy you! <laughs> Ouch! Where are you? I'm here! Where? Show yourself! Ow! Ouch! Here! Ouch! And here! And Ouch! here, and here, Ouch! and here! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! Hey! Tickle, tickle, tickle! Hey, no! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Ouch! Whoa! <laughs> the power of the source has turned against you, Boo Boo Squeal! What? Where? Who? Tickle, I... tickle, 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 hey, tickle, tickle, tickle! No! Wait! Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> <laughs> no more! Tickle, 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 tickle! Do you give up? Never! Tickle, 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 tickle. No, no, okay. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Wait. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Filippo is truly the chosen one. Pretty impressive. Surrender, Boo Boo Squeal. Or the chosen one will show no mercy on your hide. <laughs> tickle, 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 <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. No, uh, uh, stop! <laughs> I give up! I give up! Your reign of evil is over, Boo Boo Squeal. Finally, peace will reign among all animals, big and small. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, uh, stop! <laughs> I give up! I give up! Ouch! 
And so it came to pass that the my side and the nice side agreed to a truce and to seal the peace accord. Princess Sparklefeather of the nice side and Squeezy Whistle, rogue warrior of the my side, wed. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today on this happy and joyous occasion. Oh, my motherboard. I think I'm going to cry. Oh, wait, I, I have no tear ducts. To join this lovely pachyderm and this brave squirrel in loving matrimony. Oh, they are so cute! You may now kiss the bride. Space animals, the zoo wars are not over. Boo Boo Squeal will rise again. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, ouch. Tickle, tickle, no. tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. No. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Stop that. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs>